This anime had a huge fan base, a great story, and a promising future. How could it all go wrong? Good morning, pizza people. It's Time Pizza back today with another video. And today we're going to be talking about the anime that has unbelievably tarnished its reputation for a hella long time due to the acts that it decided to pull. And that anime is also known as Koro Koro Connect. Now, you may be wondering how an anime such as Korra Korra Connect could ruin its reputation because how could an anime do that? They're not like an actual human. They don't have press. They don't have like a Twitter. They don't have a Facebook where you can find all their old posts and cancel them from it. But Korra Korra Connect did this in a completely different way by humiliating and pranking their own fan base. And... A lot of you may think, what is the harm with a simple prank? Well, when it's meant to target one person and expose their embarrassing moments that they didn't know about, it can be a pretty bad prank. So this all started before Koro Koro Connects anime had even come out. And if you're in the anime community, you've definitely heard of Koro Koro Connect. And the anime before releasing definitely had a lot of buzz as well, right? Because, you know, the whole, like, pre-production process, they're hiring voice actors, animating the show, figuring out what characters and what storylines they want to adapt, etc., etc., right? And before Coral Connect was coming out, they were doing a bunch of screenings to introduce a lot of the new characters to the public and to get people a lot more hyped and excited for the anime that was going to be dropping soon. And with all of these events underway, this is where we get our first character introduced to the story, aka Yamanaka Takahiro. I'm sorry if I butchered that, but he is the producer of Coral Coral Connect, who is the main villain in this whole series twisted and demented prank so Takahiro came up with this idea right that if they're gonna be doing all of these like screenings to show off characters and all that why doesn't he do one for a fake character and this fake character he wanted to create it was with the goal of trying to get someone to voice act that character and basically humiliate themselves and make themselves look stupid voicing a character that doesn't exist that was supposed to be quote-unquote anime original and in order to set up this prank the producer for Korra Korra Connect went on to host a fake casting audition with cameras in the room where he hired fake voice actors and fake directors and a hidden camera all in order to get the person at the center to, of this prank Ichigi to voice act and to believe all of this was really real because they had the whole audition like two months prior because no one's just gonna show up and be like oh Korra Korra connects that I'm in an anime so I should go to this event no like they had to really set this up and plan it into detail from like hiring a bunch of people making sure everyone keeps it secret making sure nobody's gonna know and making sure that Ichiki is gonna stay in the dark in order to make sure that they can embarrass him on a public stage. So two months later go by, right? And Ichiki is under the impression that he got the anime original part because, you know, they told him and they told him to show up to this Korra Korra Connect event that was two months before the anime began airing in order to introduce and showcase the new anime original character that would be in the show. And Ichiki, obviously he's going to believe it because they've done so much work to make it look real at this point. Like, who's going to go out of their way to be like, hmm, I think this is Cap. Like, he went to an actual meeting with these people bro like i don't think there was any way that he could have found this out or realized that they were just joking or messing with him so at the event right ichiki he goes on stage in order to introduce himself and be like hey guys i'm the new voice actor for this character this character and Korra Korra connect but what he doesn't realize is the screen that was behind him instead of playing and showing footage of his voice on an anime that he probably really wanted to support 
he instead began to see videos of him voice acting and auditioning making really weird and like uncomfortable noises because you know at a voice acting audition you have to show the full ranges of your voice and show what you can really do so as the director is telling him in the video at the audition he's just sitting there like just yelling getting louder and basically just really trying out for this character and he was probably under the pretense that the videos of his audition would not be shown so he could go all out in this without having to worry about maybe some embarrassment later. Unfortunately though, that was not the case. So Ichigi turns around as he's watching the video of his audition and he notices, right, that the video was even spliced up and edited in order to put in weird questions to make it seem like he was just moaning and being an overall creepy weirdo. And at the end of the audition video that was shown in front of so many people, it explained that he was not in the anime and that this entire thing was a complete and elaborate prank. Now, this is easily one of the worst things you can do, right? Because not only was the event like showed to a bunch of people who were just excited to see the Koro Koro anime and they laughed and they probably thought it was pretty funny, they also live streamed it online in order to you know, just have it out there for more and more people to see. Further embarrassing Ichigi when all he really wanted to do was be a voice actor in the anime and he had the passion and the guts to go out there and try out anyways. And so after this incident, right, the voice actor Ichigi, even though he was embarrassed, he did go on to say that he wasn't offended by it and that he was friends of those people even though it does still seem a little weird don't you think and Cora Cora connect still did end up giving out an apology and a lot of this honestly was probably just due to the continuous harassment that they got after this incident like a lot of their voice actors were going through it after this and a lot of people involved with the anime were spammed and harassed because they were like bro why would you bully this voice actor and even though the spamming and harassment wasn't necessary it still was a pretty crappy thing they did in order to just get a couple laughs and I don't know entertain a couple people afterwards though Ichiki the voice actor that was embarrassed he was invited to an event by the Cora Cora Connect staff where they did apologize to him once again and they revealed to him that he would be offered a role as publicity or promotional chief for like some projects that Cora Cora Connect would be involved in. So he basically was given one of those like, hey, we're sorry we didn't give you the actual job, but here's a uh, something to make you feel better and we want you to just promote the anime that we denied you being a part of. And honestly, the whole situation seems hella weird to me because like not a lot of people suffered any genuine consequences as a like result of this. Like the guy didn't get fired the guy Ichiki all he really did was get a job saying hey bro support this anime that we didn't want you to be inside of like just like they just said hold that and they did anything barely anything they could to make him feel better and it was more of just you know what hey people are mad about this bro so can you like tell them that it wasn't that big of a deal you know what I mean? like like it just seems like a whole crappy situation all around and I really feel bad for Ichiki for suffering this and I don't even think like Koro Koro Connect suffered any more like waves or responses due to this incident and it's over it i get it but it was overall still a pretty crappy thing for them to do but pizza people i want you to let me know how you feel about coral coral connect have you seen it do you like it and do you believe they may have sort of had more consequences from like the incident that they put on and they basically did in order to like ruin this guy's reputation and make him look like a loser let me know how you feel about it overall pizza people and until next time my name is time pizza and i will see pizza people later peace